In The Enemies of Jake Paul, Shane Dawson interviews Nick Crompton, and Nick Crompton kind of outs Logan Paul as being a terrible brother for what he did with Alyssa Violet, who's Jake Paul's ex. And this is actually a question I get quite often, which is kind of surprising, but not surprising. But anyways, anyways, now is the perfect time to discuss this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you to improve your mental and emotional well-being. And part of that is relationships, whether it's with family, friends, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, whoever it is. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. I have been doing mental health reviews of all of the Shane Dawson episodes. So anyways, yes. So part four just came out and I live streamed it. And I already put up a video and I'm gonna talk about um, the ethical thing about Katie a little bit later in kind of a different way um, because one of the viewers actually had a very interesting comment and it was, it was something I didn't think of. But anyways, so when Shane Dawson is interviewing Nick Crompton and kind of asking and, you know, uh, Nick said that some of these things were fake, you know, the pranks and everything. So Shane asked, you know, is what happened with Alyssa Violet fake? So those of you who don't know or didn't watch the new Shane Dawson episode, like I don't keep up with the Paul brother drama or anything, but Alyssa Violet was dating Jake Paul and then she left or Jake kicked her out or whatever and then Logan started seeing her and they made it very, very public. And I've seen some comments and some things on Twitter, you know, and people talking about, you know, that's that, you know, these brothers are competitive and all this and like, man, this is just brutal. So what I was talking about in my intro, I get this question a lot. I get it from younger people a lot. Like, is it wrong? Is it wrong to hook up with somebody's ex, like your friend's ex or, you know, uh, a sibling's ex or someone close to you's ex and like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. So before I dive into this and how Logan is a more awful person than I thought he was before, um, spoiler alert, uh, I wanna talk about, you know, there's there's gonna be a lot more conversation. Uh, I think Nick Crompton even mentioned it. There's gonna be more conversation just like, is uh, Shane going to sympathize with Jake Paul? Is Shane going to make Jake Paul look better or like a good person? And I, I don't know, that's still up for debate, but Here's my opinion on it. I think I think Shane's learning a lot in this process. He's learning a lot about mental health and a lot of it is hindsight when he's going back through his videos, but he's learning more just because the community was outraged about episode two and all that. But like, I think he's starting to realize that, you know, Jake might just be a jerk. He might just be a bad person. You don't always need a diagnosis to be a bad person, to have a poor moral compass. And I think Shane's starting to realize that. Like, you don't always have to label somebody a sociopath or narcissist. Like, that's the biggest problem. And like, I, I'm, I'm so glad that I have so many new subscribers and some of my videos are getting views. Like, because like, man, like, just the way that people are just throwing around this stuff. Like, I watched Keemstar's video for like, oh, ah, ah, I don't like Keemstar. Anyways, he starts like throwing out sociopath all left and right. I'm just like, oh my God. But anyways, I, I hope that Shane's learning through this process that, some people are just jerks. Some people are just insensitive. You know, I would say most of Jake Paul's problems are because of his ego. You know what I mean? I don't think that it's a mental illness. I think a lot of it has to do with ego and I'm also gonna touch on the family dynamic in a second. So anyways, as far as Logan Paul hooking up with Jake's ex, Alyssa Violet, like what a scumbag move. Like what a scumbag move. Like I already thought Logan Paul was a terrible person. Like when I was watching on my live stream, like, I like the f one of the one of the major things aside from you know him doing this to his own brother, um, the fact that like Logan made this video in his Dear Shane response video, and he's like the children, the children, your young impressionable audience, the children, and like there's like massive clips of like Logan Paul like they were talking about like condoms and. Uh, you know, in his music videos that these like 10 year olds are watching, you know, all this other stuff. And I'm not one of those dads, like I have a nine year old son, but like Logan is just a hypocritical D bag. I didn't want to say the word because I didn't know if like YouTube would get mad about, but I think I could use the word D bag. So let's call Logan for what he is. He is a D bag. He is a bad person. 
He's not a good person. All right, anyways, so he's doing dumb stuff in front of his young, impressionable audience. Now, as far as the whole thing with Jake Paul, like, man, like, this is something that I can't stress. Like, this is just the best relationship advice I can give you if you're going through a breakup, or if you have this weird idea, like, should you get with your friend's ex, whether it's your, uh, your friend's ex-boyfriend or your friend's ex-girlfriend, whatever it is, like, just remember this, never forget this. This will get you through the single times. Are you ready? There are over 7.6 billion people on this planet, okay? Half of them, are the gender that you prefer. And if you have a different sexual preference, maybe there's even more, all right? Like, it just blows my mind. Like, there are so many options out there. Like, why would you do that? Why do you get, why do we get so attached to this one person, right? Like, um, I, I get it. Like, I know we have emotions and feelings. I'm not telling you to just totally disregard your breakup, but more so, like, when you're in that dating phase and you get really attached to somebody, maybe you went on a date or two dates or you guys had a great conversation and then they ghosted you or they left like, I, when I was in my single days, like I just had to remember, I'm like, this is just one person, just one person. Like there are so many other people, so many other people out there and maybe that person was bad. And like, this is why I make videos about borderline personality disorder because I get that. I get that insane, intense, strong attachment to people, like just because you don't just like somebody, like you fall in love with somebody, right? But like with, with Logan's deal, I don't think it was these intense emotions. I think it was just a D-bag move. And like, that's awful. Like, so let's talk about you. Cause like, those of you who are new to my channel, I don't make these videos to spill tea or talk about drama. I do it to help you. So if you're in these situations, here's my advice for you. If it is a friend, if it is a friend, screw that friend, all right? Until that friend comes back and apologizes, like sincerely, like really sincerely, um, I don't think that's cool. And this is just my opinion on the subject. Um, if you are a friend, like just don't, just don't do it. There are so many other options out there. And I, I, I get this question from young people again, like there are so many other options. Don't destroy a friendship over something this dumb. Now, when it comes to Jake and Logan Paul, I was thinking about how I was gonna phrase this and like the reality is that entire damn family needs therapy. When I was watching uh, the family of Jake Paul, I'm just like, this entire family is messed up. They need family therapy. Like they need to work through some stuff because you know, this is different than a friendship. This is his brother. You know what I mean? So there's always going to be that, that thing, that thing that's there. And it's going to take some time to work through it. But Logan with this whole like redemption thing this year after that idiot did that stuff in Japan, like, oh my God, like just what a garbage person. Like, I don't know, I just really don't like that guy. I really don't like how he influences so many people. And, uh, but anyways, they, they all need to get together. Like um, Greg Paul, uh, He's a hot mess too. Um, Nick Crompton talked a little bit about that. And what I was talking about in my live stream is, the way I see Greg Paul is, I mentioned this, like I've been around sports dads, sports parents, if you will. And it's it's insane. It's like this thing where they try to live vicariously through their child. And in Greg's situation, it seems like he started out with sports, but then when his children blew up as like these celebrities on YouTube, uh, Jake was on Disney, like, Greg's just trying to get in that mix. He's saying, oh, you're doing the thing I, I never could. And there's all these other like things going on with Greg Paul, as far as like some underage possibly and some tapes and things like, Greg Paul is a hot mess as well. So again, I mentioned this in my Family of Jake Paul uh, video, like it's a reason, it's probably a reason why Logan and Jake are so messed up, but it's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. These are grown men, these are adults, they need to go get help. Like, if if Jake and Logan and, you know, just the entire family just want to heal, they're gonna have to work through this, and I recommend with some kind of licensed professional. <laughs> Maybe Katie Morton. How great would that be? Family therapy with Katie Morton. That'd be great. I don't know if she has, ever does like family therapy, Probably, I think she like prefers individual sessions. Anyways, that would be great, but I don't know. Jake's always always gonna have an issue um, with Logan until until some serious amends happen. And you know, maybe maybe it has happened behind the scenes. I don't know, I don't know, but they might've just swept it under the rug. So the last thing I'll say, I wanna give a shout out 
to one of my new loyal subscribers, Organic Flatbread. So in the last video I talked about, is what Katie Morton's doing ethical? And that video was all speculation. I have some people already freaking out in my comments. By the way, if you listen to my disclaimers, I love you. I want you to know that. I love you so much. Like people who disregard the disclaimers in videos and then get angry about the thing that was disclaimed, uh, but that's a whole that's a whole nother story, all right? But anyways, so one of my new subscribers, Organic Flatbread, she left this on the one about ethics and Katie Morton. So she says, um, I'm someone with an extensive history of mental health. If I'm looking at it from Jake's point of view, I'd be upset if I was being investigated without knowing so, especially as someone who has difficulties with being honest. If you genuinely are trying to be honest and open and find out these quote unquote friends have been sneaking behind your back, could be traumatizing to how you perceive people. I see what he's trying to do, but in all honesty, I feel like Shane's making a spectacle of mental health and I don't like it. After this, everyone's going to assume every time someone does something crazy, it's related to mental health. This is not breaking the stigma. It's ensuring that people like me, who have a fear of talking about these things, never get help when we seriously need it. When they are doing, what they are doing is not only unethical, but it's dangerous for those young and impressionable and those who struggle with mental health. So um, yeah, like just, I, I wanna focus on the trust issues. Um, I agree and disagree with some of the mental health stuff. Like, I don't know, I'm, I'm just an optimist. I'm glad that people are talking more about mental health. So I won't dive too much into that aspect. Like I, I totally understand what she's saying though, okay? I wanna make that very clear, organic flatbread. I totally understand what you're saying. So basically what I wanted to touch on is like, Part of what they're worried about is Jake not being real. And Jake, Nick, Comp, Nick Crompton like mentioned that Jake's not really gonna tell the truth or open up unless like you're in, like unless he trusts you. Like, I get that, I get that. But as a result, as a result of success, I'm sure Jake has been screwed over a million times. But then what Logan did to him, like man, if you can't even trust your own brother, Right? Like if you can't even trust your own brother, how are you gonna trust other people? And I, I plan on making more videos about trust issues because I've had a ton of trust issues and it's something that we all need to work on. Especially like what Organic Flatbread was saying, like it not trusting people, it keeps us sick. You know what I mean? Like we're afraid to open up and we're afraid to talk about mental health. We're afraid to seek help because we have trust issues. So I, I think that was a great point. Like, you know, Jake might have a lot of trust issues and that might be why he puts up fronts or he tries to keep people at a distance. Um, but anyways, I don't know. That's gonna tie into the next video I do about the cult of Team 10. I have some things to say about that and friendships and relationships. But I wanna hear from you all down in the comments below. Like, what are your thoughts about low Logan getting with Jake Paul's ex. Like, I'm curious of your thoughts, if you have any experience with one of your friends doing this, like, were you okay with it? Like I said, this is just my opinion. Were you okay with it? Like, how did that go? I don't know. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support me in sending out a message of hope, make sure you click on that little Patreon icon right there. You can do it for a dollar a month. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.